Well, she was the dream girl of millions of young men, including myself, and the idol of many young women, including our own Jeanette Trumpeter. She was, and still is, known to all of us as Mary Ann, the girl next door trapped on a desert isle with Gilligan, the professor, the Howells, Ginger, and the skipper. She's with us here today. Jeanette chats with Don Wells, formerly of Gilligan's Island, and I must say, she hasn't changed a bit. No, she walked in the door and I just said, there's Mary Ann. <laughs> what was that coconut cream pie I was carrying? <laughs> exactly. And how did you cook those with no ovens on the island? And no cows. It was real hard. <laughs> Fantasy. Well, I have to tell you, I'm thrilled to, to meet you because I watched you and you were one of my idols, just like Steve said. And we have to ask you a few questions about Gilligan's oh, Island. Of course. But first, let's let's talk about why you're in town. You're going to talk. You were going to talk tonight about a new clothing line you have. Yeah, I have a clothing line for people who have difficulty dressing, recovering from surgery, arthritis, that kind of thing. And I was going to be at Granville uh, College this evening, but I'm going to be there tomorrow. Okay. They have a communications weekend, and I'm going to be there tomorrow, uh, speaking at 11 o'clock, and then we're doing a, an autograph session and cookbooks and stuff uh, from 12 to 1 at the communications department, so come on out. Tell me more about the clothing, though. Well, I had a grandmother who had a stroke, and my mother took care of her at home oh, when I was in high school. She was uh, unable to speak, unable to move. And I had a friend in a nursing home for 11 years, and I'm a spokesperson for a children's hospital on an advisory board. I've co-hosted the Children's Miracle Network Telethon and been with children who have difficulty in dressing, and there is a need. So about four years ago, I was doing a play and said, wait a minute, you can get in and out of these clothes real easily. Why can't you design something that's pretty, um, easily accessible, breathable fabrics, and give you a, a quality of life and a dignity back that's usually taken away when you're ill or infirm? So I have a clothing line called Wishing Wells Collections, and I'm with a catalog company in Chicago now, but going into the J.C. Penney's catalog this uh, this summer, so I'm very excited about Great, it. Great, and people can see that tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be showing a few of the designs tomorrow, so sure. Okay, one more question. I gotta ask you, things have changed since you were a sex symbol back on. <laughs> oh, good. Well, Ginger was always Finally, the... Finally, thank you. <laughs> Ginger was the nice girl. Yeah, so, so <laughs> you were the nice girl. <laughs> right. You, you couldn't show your belly button? Is couldn't that true? Couldn't show your belly button. Well, wouldn't that be refreshing today? Yeah. To cover up a few? No, I don't know. <laughs> Well, listen, it's idea, been great it? having you. I know a lot of people want to get pictures with you afterwards, so Steve, we'll pass it back to you. We're going to start the autograph session. Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Well, John McLaughlin's here, and uh, Mr.